James Ibori, a former governor of one of Nigeria's oil producing states, has pleaded guilty in the UK court to 10 counts of money laundering and conspiracy to defraud. British police accused him of stealing £160 million. The prosecutor called him a thief in government house. Ibori, once seen as one of Nigeria's most wealthy and influential politicians, was arrested in 2010 in Dubai and extradited to London. Some of these alleged UK assets were frozen in 2007. As his trial at London Southwark Crown Court was about to begin, Mr. Ibori changed his plea to guilty and admitted stealing money from Delta State and loading it into London through a number of offshore companies. We have interviewed a few people from Delta State who witnessed the hearing of James Ibori's case. Yeah, uh, we are just uh, up from the uh, Crown Court in the UK. We are here to felicitate with one of our big brother, our leader, Chief James Ibori. And um, yeah, this, this, uh, this uh, a country that uh, is not from here, from Nigeria. Uh, actually, we wanted him to be tried in Nigeria, but what can he say? He's here, he's with the, the government of the United Kingdom, and whatever they feel they can do, because after all, his sister has been convicted, uh, his mistress, his wife, and not even the lawyer. So, what, what has he to say? To him, uh, he wants freedom, and we, we want freedom for him. So, uh, we are calling on the international community, the entire world, to look into this matter. Afro, there are so many cases of uh, terrorists and all that. The people are treated and cases are tried and uh, government are, uh, are given. So we also want uh, James Boris case to, to uh, as a respect of uh, what is being tried for, we want proper justice to be done. Uh, we want the entire world to look at it. Uh, and uh, at the end of the day, let it temper mercy with justice. That's uh, what we say. Just, yeah. like we have strong confidence in uh, the court proceedings from what we just uh, witnessed now and uh, we believe in no time it's the 16th right yeah. by april 16th we should uh, have a concrete judgment and we believe it's going to work out too i don't really have the confidence in the trial in the united kingdom because it's not for me i don't think it's going to get justice thank you well uh i came here as a neutral person and uh well like they said justice has been done but that is if truly, I mean, he did what they said, what they accused him of. But uh, to me, it's unfair to James Ibori because uh, there are other governments, there are other past government in Nigeria who are also corrupt, you know, who, who the case has been with the ESC since 2007, and no one is talking about them. You know, and picking on only him is like a, a try to make, I try to. Uh, call a dog a bad name in order to hang it. So I think uh, what the Nigerian government should do is not only about James Ibori. It should do more about uh, in controlling corruption in Nigeria. You know those governors who are also affected in 2007, Oji Kalu, Oji Lee, and the rest. They are working free, so they all should be arrested and uh, prosecuted as well. I'm Barista Roxin I'm a Nigerian-based lawyer. But I'm doing my master's in law here at the University of Westminster. So I came in to observe the proceedings. And uh, most especially, I'm from Delta State. And uh, during the era when Jim Sipuri was the governor, I was the speaker of a local government. So that makes it interesting. I, I seized the opportunity now that I'm here. I said I must watch the proceedings. I think I've gone halfway. And uh, the judge just took a little break. Time of uh, every person's cost of litigation. I think Ibori has pleaded to some of the pleaded guilty to some of the charges. The majority of the charges has pleaded guilty. So I think they they, 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 they have come out with constitutional order now, and then uh, went to sentence him maybe sometime April and a serious debate there whether the press to report or not to report. Prosecuting QC Sasha was said Mr. Obori had tricked his way into becoming Delta State Governor by giving false date of birth and claiming he had no criminal record. He is due to be sentenced by the court on Monday the 16th of April 2012.